oh, it's very heavy. <laughs> heavy, real heavy. It's so heavy. Welcome back guys, another video, another vlog. We're almost to the due date of the home birth. Say hey Jalen. Hi. Hi. We are here at my appointment with Miss Brenda. We got baby on deck. I am 31 weeks and six days. I will be what, 32 weeks tomorrow. So yeah, we're coming up to the finish line. It is Thanksgiving week. And of course I waited until the last minute to decide that I'm going to do a small little dinner at the house for us. Originally I wasn't gonna cook at all, but now me and AJ are like, let's just have something small. So I'm getting ready to go in here, do a checkup with Miss Brenda, I think. Should be kind of interesting because we're going to start talking about like where my birthing pool and stuff is going to be at. But um, yeah, so hopefully I remember to record because I always take my camera into the appointment and never record, but I'm going to record this time. And then after we leave the appointment, I'm going to get something to eat and then I got to go to the grocery store and then I want to show you guys the mess of a closet that I have. I have to start organizing the baby stuff. I got gifts already coming in for the baby sprinkles. So it's just madness right now, but welcome. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy week. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> So you're 30 weeks? No, I am. 30, I'll be 32 weeks tomorrow. The head's measuring a little small. Let's check the rest of the body. You got a small head, that's good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we don't want big heads. We, we want a small head. The, the uh, baby that was born yesterday, mm -hmm. 14 inch head. Jesus. <laughs> Mom was like this. Caleb was in like the 99 percentile the whole time I was pregnant with him. I'll tell you the percentile once I've done all the measurements. Okay. Caleb. Oops. Trying to get the thigh, that femur bone. I want to get it in the picture. Of course, this baby's not sitting still. He never does. Yeah, sit oh, still for yeah. a second. There we go. You got a house full of boys. You used mm -hmm. to. Them. <laughs> and he's been the baby has been super active. Oh, that like he's long. His dad is pretty tall. How tall mm -hmm. is he? AJ six two. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And my father-in-law is six five, and AJ's brother is six seven, six eight. Uh -huh. All right. You just play. <laughs> you have good pockets, so you're drinking lots of water. Mm -hmm. I try. <laughs> you want me to check that? 
Hmm? Oh my goodness. My appetite has, I haven't really been eating much. Like I, I've been eating once a day, snacking. I'll have like cereal. I've been taking my supplements, my tea, my iron, but I haven't been like super hungry. What's her iron level at? We're supposed to change it. We're supposed to check it again, right? Mm hmm. Because I've been taking that iron for what? I think two weeks now. Okay, cool. That's a good pocket. That's a beautiful pocket. Oh, she, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's no problems or any problem. She's already passed just with two pockets alone. <laughs> That don't mean you stop drinking water. No. No, you gotta keep drinking. <laughs> you gotta keep up the good work, yeah, okay? Me, me and Brenda are known as the Nazi. Water <laughs> Nazis. Yeah, water Nazis. We push for those um, beautiful numbers. So, Does it say what he's weighing? I'll no. tell you in a second. Oh. There ain't no scale to go in there, okay? <laughs> it's an estimation. We can't put no scale in there. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what the percentage is. Okay, perfect. So your AFI is 19.89. Perfect. So, if it gets a little higher though, we don't want it to be higher either. I don't know what that means. It means nothing. That means okay. keep drinking your water. Okay, huh? <laughs> perfect. <laughs> hey, baby looks good. I want to see the heart rate. Uh, hey. I'm sorry, toddler on the run. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, heartbeat. Ooh. Nice four quadrants. Mm -hmm. Good. Alright, we're done. Clean that for me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> five, so you're good. Good job. So do I still have to yeah, go? Yeah, still going. Oh, okay. What? Going over the um Florida Hospital for the consultation. Yes, you still have to. But we have now more information to give them for them not to say no. Okay. So, do we have more? Yeah. There's a lot of goo on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, used up all of Miss Brenda's supply. That's good. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the belly one. I tried. There's there. <laughs> Get it all Maybe out. Maybe it popped out like a turkey <laughs> timer, but it ain't time for it to pop out yet. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> so that's good that you have some. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I really look like this, y'all. <laughs> it's just real crusty over here lately. Let me see. When's the last time I talked to y'all? That was last Monday when I went to go see Miss Brenda. And what today is now Monday, November 30th. It's, it's a whole <laughs> nother week. Thanksgiving I came and went. <laughs> so much other stuff that came and went. But y'all don't understand. Things are getting very heavy over here. Okay? They getting big. It's getting heavy. And it's just getting tough. <laughs> <laughs> Not tough, but I haven't been feeling super energetic. I've been trying to pick up the camera as much as I can, but I just wanted to come and give you guys an update before we start. Let me see. We're 33. Before we turn 34 weeks. Yeah, I'll be 34 weeks tomorrow. It really is crunch time. I have so much stuff going on. So let me update you on what happened last week with Miss Brenda. So the biggest thing of all that happened last week at Miss Brenda is we got some really, really good news. I'm not sure, did you guys see that part? Did I record that part? I'm not sure if you guys did or not, but if you didn't, you seen that there was another midwife there working with her. They actually were able to measure my C-section scar and they were able to see if I had a uterine window. Guess what? My scar looks perfect. Uterine window, non-existent, which that is what we want when we're attempting a VBAC. So that means I am good to go for the home birth, guys. I'm, I, 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 we're, we're doing this. That's, we're doing this, okay? 
my scar looks good everything is measuring out i'm still going to do my v-back console at advent health let me see in two weeks i'm still going to do that because they'll do my last baby scan my last sonogram and check all of like my blood levels and stuff so we definitely want to do that before we do the home birth but I'm, I'm doing this. This is going down because I already know that Advent Health is going to tell me that I'm a VBAC candidate. They're the ones where I did, where I had Kayla before. So I already know that this is going to happen. So yes, there has been a lot of stuff going on. So besides getting that super great news that I'm definitely going to be able to do my home birth, uh, Miss Brenda had gave me a list of things to do, not just Miss Brenda, but the other midwife had suggested a few things for me to do. Uh, red raspberry leaf tea. <laughs> you guys already know about the red, ra red raspberry leaf tea. It's very good in helping to strengthen the uterus, especially for a VBAC mom. That's going to be vital. You want your uterus to be strong when those contractions start to hit. She also recommended a VBAC tea, which it had like red raspberry leaf tea in it. And then it had some other herbs. I actually went online to order it. I haven't received it yet, but um, it should be coming. Last night, I made a, what do they call it? A herbal infusion with my prenatal tea, which is just a stronger version of tea where you let it steep overnight. So it's like eight hours steeping. And I did that out of my prenatal tea. My prenatal tea has red, ra red raspberry leaf tea in it. And then it has some other um, herbs in it. I will list them for you here, but... I went ahead and made an infusion of that so I could drink that at night and I'm going to start drinking my red rat, the raspberry, <laughs> I'm just, that just going to get the best of me, but I can start drinking that, just the red raspberry by itself in the morning, then I can drink my prenatal tea throughout the day. I made like a big mason jar of it so I can either rewarm it or drink it cold. So I'm doing that. What else? Um, I'm eating dates. I'm eating what? I try to have four to six dates a day. Dates are also very good in helping to strengthen up the uterus. I have been walking, uh, been walking my neighborhood once or twice, 30 minutes a day, really getting my heart pumping. I have been bouncing on my ball, my yoga ball. I have started doing yoga stretches. I am also listening to positive birth affirmations at nighttime. Like when I go to bed, I put it on YouTube. I put my ear pods in and I'm listening to these birth affirmations at night. I am also reading my book, uh, Birth Without Fear. What else? Oh, uh, what else am I doing? What else did they suggest? All of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the evening prim primrose oil miss brenda did not recommend this to me it was the other midwife but she recommended that i started inserting 500 mg of evening primrose oil hold on let me show you guys what it looks like because i've had this since um kayla because i was doing this before but evening primrose oil this one is actually the thousand milligram but she told me to start with the 500 and insert them vaginally. Some people take them orally. You can just put them up vaginally, but I stopped taking them with Kayla because in my ICANN group, I started reading about how some moms were having negative effects with the evening primrose oil. They also were being leaked linked to uterine ruptures as well as hemorrhaging. So I, have not started doing this because I do not feel comfortable inserting these. Um, I want to talk more to Miss Brenda about it. These are just used as a ripener for your cervix, which you can get that from having sex. Semen is a great cervical ripener. So if I'm having lots of sex like I've been instructed to do, I don't really see the need for this and just with the studies that I have read about this, I don't really know if this is something that I want to do. So I am waiting until my next appointment, which is next Monday, to talk more with Miss Brenda about the evening primrose oil. I would prefer to just skip it and continue to have 
lots of sex <laughs> like she instructed me but I think let's see is that everything yep I think I hit everything that she told me to do everything that I've been doing oh something that I did recently I have started writing positive affirmations on index cards and I'm gonna start posting them I'll probably put some up on my mirror in my bathroom in my shower in my toilet area um, on my bed just like positive affirmations because I want to see them read them embody them and just keep them always on my mind um, I wrote out a few already, but I need to finish that up. But once I do get it finished up, I will show you guys. But I think that's it. That's it as far as Miss Brenda go. I'm having a home birth. Did you did you guys hear that? This scar is looking amazing. I don't really feel amazing right now. I feel super heavy. I am gonna show you guys my belly in one second. But yes, I have started organizing all of Kanan's stuff. I am working on him and Caleb's closet as well as trying to organize gifts that are coming in every other day for the baby sprinkle. The baby sprinkle is this Saturday, 5 p.m. on Zoom. If you guys didn't know, I think I put all the information in the description box. If you guys want, log on. We're gonna play games. I'm gonna be doing a diaper raffle. If you would like to send a gift, we're registered on Amazon and on Target. So just check the description box for that. But I'm gonna show you guys really quickly like what his closet is looking like. But I just wanted to say that. So I think that is everything. Yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys my belly so you can see my big belly. <laughs> oh, the big old boobs. But let me show you real quick. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I am 33 weeks and six days, y'all. So, oh, I'm gonna take this robe off, I'm getting hot. I love this robe, I got it in my winter box, my Fit Fab Fit Fun box. If you guys don't know, I sponsored with them. That's also where I got this like headband from. I will put the link in the description box for you guys with my code, but this is my belly, y'all. <laughs> I will officially be 34 weeks tomorrow, and he is head down. <sighs> it's very heavy. <laughs> heavy, real heavy. It's so heavy. <sighs> All right, don't mind my floor. I need to vacuum, but I've organized a lot of stuff. This is like diaper bags, baby carriers. This has like socks and bibs. This is just a part of his onesies. I just went through and finally folded it, folded them and they're like organized by size. We got sleepers and then let's see the closet. Now I know y'all might be thinking like, girl, <laughs> this is still a lot of stuff to do, which it is. But if you guys had seen it before, I'll probably insert a little before for you. It definitely looks a lot better. I still have to go through all of these clothes over here. Still got tons of clothes and onesies in there that I need to go through, but it's slowly coming together. So that is what I've been working on slowly, but surely I do a little day by day. And let me show you guys really quick. Over here, like, I started organizing this area and this is like all gift cards and gifts and stuff and then I have more gifts and diapers outside but yeah slowly coming together but <laughs> I've been trying to pick up the camera but it's been kind of it's been boring I know you guys really don't want to see me organizing clothes if you do that's going to actually be its own separate video but i did want to come and talk to you guys about all of the updates from miss brenda the really really good news that i got about my c-section scar which is what this whole journey is about like we are having a home birth i am pushing my baby out my body was made to do this this is why i started this so other women can be encouraged so this is really going down and we are almost 34 weeks and it is going to be go time oh something else that miss brenda told me i am good to go at 37 weeks so that is literally the week after christmas not saying that 
I should be trying to induce myself at 37 weeks, but at 37 weeks, I can legally have my son at home and not have to worry about being transported to the hospital or anything. So I have from 37 weeks to 42 weeks to go into labor naturally on my own. So also some really good news i know y'all probably thinking girl your hair is so crusty don't even worry about it i'm getting my hair done tomorrow i'm gonna be looking like a new person and i promise that i am going to vlog this week because i want you guys to see the baby sprinkle and all of that but let's see hopefully yeah not this week but next week i'll see you guys i'll talk to you then thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hope this video wasn't all over the place but if it was i mean it'd be like that sometimes don't forget follow me on instagram i am way more active on instagram than i am on youtube you catch me on instagram every day at naturally candace so i'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>